Hey guys, it's the one and only Bushy Marie. Ooh, pop that. I want this glow. Pop that. Give me some more. Pop that. Holy oh, pop that. Let's you ain't popping nothing on this floor. <laughs> I'm not. I could barely get on the floor. <sighs> that can help you with that. No, I got a uh, hey, jacuzzi on the back. Hey. Oh, shit. I got out of jail. Let me know, but... Nah. I think I'm looking for me. I'm gonna get the strap. You, you talking about a different strap. We are not the same. Bro! <laughs> but anyway, <laughs> today we're reacting to um, the War in the Bronx. OGs versus YGs versus Sev Side. Now, before we get to the video, make sure you guys... What um, state right. is this in? New York. It's in... Bronx. Yeah, but it could be Chicago too. Yeah, but if it's Chicago, you don't know what Chicago because it's but this is Bronx. Just saying. Just New, saying. York. New York. It'll say <coughs> New York. This Yeah, and, and you you we're saying New York up there. I'm about to, uh, now, I know Chicago games, okay? Try to make sure you know your games, because you know last time it would come for you, sir. I, I know that, okay? But I know my Chicago You, you educated now? Yes, I'm an educated brother. Now, if I was really interrupted, comment, subscribe, from post notifications, and get straight into it. The Bronx is a wild place. It's the borough with the most crime and is well known for gang activity. Jeez. The Bronx drill sound is on the rise and it's fueling the deadly war between three gangs, the OGs, the YGs, and Seb Sot. Let's get straight into this crazy beat. Brooklyn was getting attention for its drill scene, but the Bronx is coming with a whole new sound that's starting to make waves. K Flock is one of the hottest rappers from the Bronx right now, racking up millions of plays on songs like Being Honest and PSA. Bronx drill may have the same bass lines and hard flow as Brooklyn and UK drill, but it has its own unique sound that's influenced by classic New York hip hop. Most of the beats have classic samples laced in with distorted 808s that gives the music a different vibe than drill from other areas. K Flock has been riding away with his new sound and has been building a buzz over the past few months. But his come up ain't just been all success. He also suffers from the pain and loss that comes with the street life, losing many friends to gun violence. K Flock hopped off the curb at a young age and was on the block at like 12 years old. Jeez. He started rapping because of his homie Dougie B, who is also a rapper and has been featured on multiple tracks. Mm -hmm. K-Flock's first official track was a remix of the 22 G's song, Licky Gang Freestyle, which he titled FTO. 22 G's then gave K-Flock a shout out in a recent interview, showing love to the Bronx drill movement. In August 2021, he remixed Siggy Black's song, Dishonest, and called it Being Honest. That track quickly racked up millions of views and earned him a feature from G Herbo. There's also rumors that he recently signed a seven-figure deal and he's in a good position to take over the Bronx rap scene. But behind all of k Flock's success is a deadly war that involves his own family members. He's from a blood set around East 187th Street in a hood known as Sev Side. Sev Side is made up of Mac Baller Brims and Sex Money Murder and they cool with the rolling 80s Crips. Sev Side beats with other gangs in the area, including the OGs or Original Goons and the YGs or Young Gunners. At first, these two was the same gang and controlled a few different projects around Cortland Ave, not far from Sev's side. But one of the founders of the YGs crossed over another top member, so the dudes in his hood split off to form the OGs. Today, the YGs are one of the most hated gangs in the Bronx and they beef with almost everyone. One of the YGs main rappers named D-Thang is K-Flock's blood cousin. Bruh. The two rappers have been dissing each other back and forth. D-Thang shocked the whole hood by dropping a Chicago style drill track called Talking Facts where he disrespects dead ops from damn near every gang the YG's beef with. But the beef ain't start with rap. It began with multiple murders, followed by threats in music and on social media. In July 2021, a 19-year-old rapper who went by the name... Like, it be your own people. You do, you do. High Swish was shot in the head in the lobby of his apartment building. He ran outside after getting shot, but had been hit in the eye and quickly collapsed. Jeez. A family friend and her two kids found him unconscious outside the building. He was rushed to the hospital, but he was dead at the scene. Witnesses say the gunman 
fled in a dark colored four-door sedan, but was never identified. The friends and neighbors said Ty Swish was a good kid who never got in trouble, but he was allegedly from sex money murder and they would quickly even the score for his death. A few days later, 13-year-old Jerry and Elliot was chased down and killed outside the Angels Cafe in the Belmont neighborhood of the Bronx. Jerry had just graduated from junior high and was turning 14 later that month. But even though he was young, he already claimed to be from the rolling 80s Crips. He had already got arrested eight times for robbery and assault and spent time in juvie. A friend of Jerry's said the Crips put him on when he was 10 years old Bruh. and that she tried to warn him about the lifestyle, but he ain't listen. The murder was captured on surveillance footage and showed Jerry walking down the street with a friend. A black sedan is seen driving up alongside him and coming to a stop. A mad shooter then hops out and shoots at both of them. His friend ran away, but Jerry falls and then crawls into a local cafe. He got shot in the legs and the chest and was rushed to the hospital, but later pronounced dead. Police think Jerry's death was payback for killing Ty Switch. They don't know if he was the killer, but they believe he was there at the time of the murder. Just a few hours after Jerry got chipped, the ops got their revenge and a 16-year-old got killed and police think it was a payback hit. On Sunday, July 11, a 16-year-old rapper named Rod G's was shot while getting into an Uber. Rod G's was from the 800 YG's and the shooting is believed to be retaliation for the murder of Jerry and Elliot. Rod G supposedly made Making fun of Jerry and death on social media life. right after it happened and the get back was immediate. He was on his way to the studio and two men on scooters pulled up and started dumping shots into his Uber. The whole thing was captured on the driver's dash cam and quickly went viral on social media. The rapper got shot once before, Did but survived. His mom said he was trying to turn his life around and was focusing on his music career, but he didn't get that chance and instead became another casualty in this deadly war. But the case is still active and they're both minors, so there ain't too much public info available. With so many deaths on all sides, the beef between the YGs, OGs, and Seth's side was really heating up. On August 16th, K Flock dropped the track, Is He Ready?, where he disses multiple rival rappers, including his own cousin, D Thang. In the first verse, he says, Boy, ask my ops, it could get ugly. I could do shh, like Ice did Sunny. This is referring to the classic film, Paid in Full. In the movie, Mitch, one of the main characters played by Makai Pfeiffer, has a younger brother who gets kidnapped for ransom. Mitch tries to get the money, but he gets killed by Rico, played by Cameron, who steals the drugs to pay Sonny's ransom. Sonny gets killed as a result, and come to find out, he was set up by his own uncle, Ice, who was mad at Mitch for kicking him out of the house. So in this bar, K Flock sends a shot directly to his own cousin, D Thang, and lets him know he's not above setting them up. The song was big in New York and even got played on Hot 97. So you can probably guess how the ops felt about this. D Thang quickly hopped on social media and gave his thoughts on the bar, saying, Can't wait to see Auntie now. A few weeks later, Another role in the 80s member who was affiliated with K Flock got murdered broad day. The victim was 16 year old rapper Nas Rolla. He was killed after two men hopped out of a Honda Accord and popped him in bro. the head. And He's a so baby. Bro, I ain't going to New York. <laughs> Why not? I'm good. I'm going. Go ahead. I'm trying to go now too. Uh -uh. Like. Do you know where we at? Like, do I know where we at? What you mean? Like, where we at? Yes. I yeah. know where we at. Exactly. So like, it's, it's no, it's no different, <laughs> bro. But out there. it ain't been popping lately. Yes, it has. Well, sure, I don't. I haven't been home. So yeah, I haven't been home. So been home, yeah, but so. it's it definitely been popping. In chest and Seth size hood. Police said that Nas Rolla had a long criminal history and got arrested 18 times already, including 10 felonies dating back to May 2017. He was recently arrested for gun possession and was fighting three other open gun cases. After his death, d thing would hop on Instagram and sneak this Nas Rolla, who was his cousin K-Flock's right-hand man, suggesting he might have got set up. Right around the same time Nas Rolla was killed, d thing dropped Talk Facts, which is pretty much the Bronx version of Who I Smoke, where he disses all his ops, both alive and dead. On the track, he samples the song, Somebody That I Used To Know by Gatye, and throws a sub at a different op in almost every bar. <laughs> Some dishes include, Dougie got shot, but he's still in recovery. Sending shots at K-Flock's homie, Dougie B. He also says, come on CJ, you see me when I ain't see you. F you ain't even make a move. So how the f when you see me, you gon' shoot. In this bar, he takes shots at another rival rapper from Cortland who did D Thing on the track Kidnap Who after D Thing said he was gonna kidnap Booba Savage, who was also featured on the track. Later he raps, Jiggy Man, aka Shot X, dumbass got hit. 
That's word on my mother, they never do shit. Here, he's talking about a rapper named Shy X, who's from the OGs, and known to go by the name Jiggy Man. You so, know what's crazy? it looks like Bronx Drill is following the same pattern. Mm -hmm. The uh, the cousins that got their own beef or whatever. Mm -hmm. Hi, parents. <laughs> like, I wonder if their parents know. still talk to, 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 to that sibling. Uh, this is crazy. I think it's true. Like, but sometimes it be like that. Sheesh. Mm -hmm. You gonna press play? Yeah, I was thinking about something, but like sometimes you shoot somebody, like you don't know, you end up being your cousin. At Chicago and the UK, rappers diss each other in songs and follow it up with real violence. What's really crazy is that a lot of them are under 18 and still in high school. So really, they don't fully understand the consequences that come with the lifestyle they live in. Hopefully, they're paying attention to how hot it's getting in O-Block and they cool it down before it's too late. But with so many lives lost on both sides, it's hard to see an end in sight. Nah. This... Yeah, this is crazy. No cap. Like... These real life babies. They said how many people died? One person, two. I think like five people died. There was a lot. But it was just like more options. Like, like, um, they kill one person, they go to the other side, kill that person, that person dies, somebody else gonna come. Like, yeah, this killing is not gonna stop until they all did. It's life. Even though it's messed up, it's fine. sure it's crazy, bro. Yeah. But. No, we can do it better. It's between them. Yeah. But, um, it's me, Boy J. And the one and only Bougie Marie. That's probably why I want kids in this world. If you guys have anything else to react to, please put in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Turn on your post notifications. And if you have anything to react to, please put in the. Let me buy your kids meal. You feel me? Comment on me. I think I said that already. Um, our social media will be in the description down below. And we all guys. What the kids man? You get that? You get twenty two. I believe it's five dollars. Yeah. Jeez. I'm broke. I am too. <laughs> My heart is broke. Punch man. Shit, mine is. <laughs> um. Oh. We be able Jake. And I'm out. Peace. Bye guys.